Hi, this is Catcom Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create something like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both as a hobbyist and commercially. If you want to learn the basics of FreeCAD step by step, want to learn how to create your own 3D models in this system, then you can take part in my FreeCAD 3D Modeling Basics training course. The link to which is in the description of this video. Now I will start a new project and show you how to create such a part. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane and draw some circles. I draw the first circle in such a way that the center of this circle coincides with the origin of the coordinate system and I remind you that I use automatic constraints. This allows me just to constrain the center of the circle to the origin of the coordinate system. I draw the second circle at this point and now I will draw circles in such a way that the centers of these two circles coincide. Let's draw four such parts of circles. OK. And now I'm going to move on to dimensioning. Here the diameter of this circle 80 millimeters, the diameter of this circle 100 millimeters, the diameter of this circle 10, and the diameter of this circle 30 millimeters. OK. Now I select four of these circles and I add the quality constraint. And then I select four of these circles and here also add the equality constraint. Now I select the center of this circle and the center of this circle, then the Y axis and I choose the symmetry constraint so that the circles are placed symmetrically about the Y axis. Now I select the center of this circle and the center of this circle and the X axis. And here I also add a symmetry constraint and now I add a symmetry constraint between the centers of these circles and the Y axis. OK. And now these circles are symmetrical about the coordinate system. And now I add the dimensions between the centers of these circles. Here 80 millimeters and the second dimension between the centers of these circles and here also 80 millimeters. We have something like this. Now I'm going to cut the parts of the geometry. Remove these parts of the circles and OK. Sketch is finished. Here I will reduce the diameter of this circle to 60 millimeters. OK. Close the sketch and add an extrusion for 10 millimeters. And we have created something like this. And now I'm going to add rounding. Here with the control key I select two edges. We could select the other edges but for now I will only select these two. And select rounding and here I add rounding for 10 millimeters. OK. And now to add rounding in the other places we can do it the same way. We can just select these edges and we can add a rounding, but we can also add a circular array here. Select the last operation and choose the circular array command and here choose base Z axis as the axis of the array and as the number of occurrences type 4 occurrences and click OK. And here it may seem that something is wrong because there are such lines visible but this is due to the fact that I have the refine parameter set to false and now if I change this parameter to true then these lines are no longer visible and the whole solid looks much better. And here we can create another part of this solid. We will create a sketch on this face. I choose this command to get the reference geometry and now I'm going to draw two circles. OK. I will set the diameter of this circle the same as the diameter of this circle. To do this I select these two circles and choose the equality constraint and here I add the dimension of this circle to 75 millimeters. OK. Exit the sketch and add an extrusion for 20 millimeters and we have something like 
this. Now I select this edge and add a rounding here for 5 mm. And here I also change the refine parameter from false to true and this line will not be visible. And now the whole solid looks much better. And that's all for today. And if you would like to learn more about working with FreeCut and want to learn the basics of working with FreeCut step by step, then you can take part in my FreeCut training course, the link to which is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.